Extraordinary Dogs is brought to you by You Can Uber, where we believe all dogs are extraordinary. Fifteen-year-old Marc Antoine was diagnosed with autism at a young age. As with many autistic children, he's prone to lash out when he becomes confused or feels uncomfortable, making it difficult to form friendships. Recently, his parents felt he was finally old enough to benefit from a dog, and in a short amount of time, Tatan began transforming the way Marc Antoine connects with his surroundings. La, la relation que Marc Antoine a avec Tatan, c'est très particulier parce que les contacts physiques, c'est pas vraiment sa force. Marc Antoine, c'est par la parole. Mais là, avec un chien, ça se passe au niveau de, du contact, des caresses. Why individuals like Marc Antoine are drawn to dogs is still being studied. But one thing is certain. Marc Antoine knows he can depend on this Labanese's unwavering faithfulness and loyalty. Loyalty to a dog's owner is um, both intrinsic and trained. It's intrinsic because it's adaptive. If you're feeding this animal and it's in your house, it's in the dog's best interest to be paying attention. The trained part um, builds on that social compact. That social compact is, we're all social, we're in this together. I'll alert for you, you alert for me. Mira believes the relationship between dog and trainer is key to enhancing a dog's natural patience, calm and loyalty. Sometimes people are, try too much to make the dog think like a human being, which is impossible. You have to put yourself on their level, and it's, it's, which is it's not a lower level, it's another level. They manage environments so much different than us. There's nothing that I can compare to have a feeling of, you know, when all the work that you do with your dog, and after you're coaching a kid, suddenly you let them go, and you realize that everything put in the right place. The socializing effects of service dogs on autistic children are measurable. Seven years ago, the Mira organization began researching how a dog could affect stress and anxiety, something that can impact on a child's development. 54 families with autistic children participated in a recent Mira study. Researchers measured the participating children's cortisol levels, a stress hormone, before, during and after a dog joined a household. Le fait d'être en présence d'animal, les enfants se retrouvaient avec un cortisol beaucoup plus bas. Et dans l'ensemble, nos résultats, on a une amélioration générale du, euh, du comportement de l'enfant et du climat, euh, du climat familial. Cortisol levels in children and adults typically rise just after waking up, a phenomenon known as the cortisol awakening response. The study undertaken by the Mira Foundation found that the usual 58% increase in the children dropped to a mere 10% after a service dog had been introduced to the family. In Marc Antoine's household, it seems to be working. On a Tartan depuis 10 semaines, même pas deux mois, et il y a déjà une grande différence. Marc Antoine a toujours eu un sommeil un peu erratique. Avec Tartan, qui couche dans sa chambre, il y en a pratiquement plus de ça. Il se réveille plus du tout la nuit. Autre chose, quand je sens que l'anxiété monte, puis qu'on est vraiment, on pourrait, ça pourrait déraper jusqu'à une crise, je demande à Tartan de se coucher. Marc Antoine se couche, met sa tête sur le ventre de Tartan et compte les battements du cœur du chien. Et ça, ça le calme presque instantanément. Et je me demande si même dans quelques mois, il va pas lui confier des choses à son animal. Tartan, viens. Alors, je me dis, si tous ces changements-là sont arrivés en quelques semaines, j'ai très hâte de voir dans un an ce que ça va faire comme différence. The Mira Foundation has undoubtedly harnessed dogs' loyalty in an extraordinary way. For many autistic children like Marc Antoine, their dog's friendship has literally transformed their lives. <laughs>